Bumper to bumper, we love them old cars. Okay, Simon, g'day and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? Good, mate. You? I'm very good, thank you. Now, we're here at Tyres now because I've got a, a, an issue with my panel van. Whilst I love the GDS rims on it at the moment, the problem is the back rear arches aren't filling out as well. Mm. So the tyres on them, or the rims, I want to get bigger tyres and bigger rims. What can you do to help me out on that? Easy. Number one, we'll do a bigger wheel. Right. So we'll do a bigger wheel. We'll do a 17. Front and rear, staggered rear, big dish rear. Put a bigger tyre, we'll lower it down as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to lower it down because when I was growing up as a young young fellow when I was 17, 18, when I got my licence, uh, for me, the profile of the car was always sitting down. So that's just an era that I like that I want to move forward. Okay, so you're going to take a look at the car, look at the, the sizing of my Sandman, the GDS rims on there at the moment, and then you're actually going to go through the process of actually uh, doing a complete wheel package for me. Wheel and lowering, yeah. Yeah, no, fantastic. All right, well, can't wait to, for you guys to start working on the car and obviously the unveil when we uh, when I come to pick up the car when it's complete. So looking forward to it, mate. Yeah, we'll look good. All right, thank you very much, Simon. No problem. All right, Simon. So obviously you've got a big range of rims here at tyres now, but I suppose the other important part is when the rubber hits the road, we talk about tyres themselves. So what can you tell customers about uh, the preference in a tyre, not only from aesthetics, from how a tyre looks from its profile, but also how it actually hits the road and uh, either is consistent in regards to the number of k's you might get out of a tyre, but also the safety aspects of tyres that uh, go on cars these days, because obviously that's important. Safety is a big concern. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of inferior stuff coming into the country. Um, we make sure that we buy all our tyres from proper sources. Yes. So we want to go through the, the main channel to bring out, you know, so when we buy our tyres, we want to go through the main channel. We don't want to go through the, 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 the backyard channels because they could be beast up, they could, be, they could have deforms in them. I don't, want to, I don't want to put myself in any of that. When a customer walks in and says, okay, look, I think I want that room for my car, how do you determine what tyre they actually need and understand their requirements in regards to safety or, or specification? A, it comes down to their budget. Yep. They can either spend $100 on a tyre or $300 on a tyre. So what, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we can give the, the customer the best possible tyre for their budget. All right. Now, let's, let's keep budget away from it for a sense. What I want to try and understand then is, what's the difference between a $100 tyre and a $300 tyre? So people out there truly know that if they're going to look at um, putting a budget together for their tyres, what they really need to know, the difference of quality from a $100 tyre to a $300 tyre. It comes down to what sort of range as well. Yeah. So what sort of size. So if you go into like a, a UH you know, UHP, ultra high performance tyre. Yeah. The difference between a hundred dollar tyre and a three hundred dollar tyre is me being unable to go in that corner at eighty k's or at one hundred and fifty k's. So, grip is basically ninety nine point nine percent. Yep. Yeah. So it comes down to your temperature, where it comes down to your tread, where it comes down to all these aspects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when when you're talking a commodity size tyre, yep. yeah, you're going to have a little bit of that, but. If you go and I can say get one of the top red tires in a commodity size and you'll say it'll look like a little 14 inch on a Toyota Gaz, yeah. you're going to turn that corner at 50 k's and it doesn't matter if you've got a cheaper tire on, you might not be able to turn that corner at 45 k's. Yeah. But when you get into the performance side of it, that's where it's done. Right. Now, yeah. that then leads into the make and model of the car that you're driving. Exactly. Right. So therefore, that's going to determine really the type of tyre you should be putting on your car. So if you've got a high performance car, whether it be a classic or a modern day car, you've got to really ensure that you're putting the right spec tyre on that car for the work that you're going to do on that. Exactly right. We've got to make, we've got to, it comes, a lot of it comes down to we've got, we've got to be within the, the law. Yeah, so if our rolling data is X amount, we can't go and be putting in really big rolling diameter design. Yeah. We've got to keep within the road with this Mm -hmm. When people, you know, when people want to do the big packs and the 
classic cars and put big wheels and that on. Yeah. Basically, everyone knows that you know it's basically going to be under the jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Yeah? yeah. So going back to a long time ago, you lower your car, you lower it a little bit too far, it's illegal. But that's the look we want. Yeah. You hop, you raise your car, we're going a little bit too high. That's the look we want. Yeah. So. You've got, we've got to make sure that we inform all our clients as well. Yeah. Yeah, so mum and dad come in, that's a very easy job to do. Yeah, how much money do you want to spend? Are we going to put something good on? We've got the family in it. Well, let's do something good. Yeah. When we do a, a mum and dad car, yeah, and they've got their family and everything like that in it, and it's a commodity size tyre, we like to put our, our good brands on it, our Bridgestones, yeah. our Michelin's, our Pirelli's. Yeah, a good, reputable, Great. Right, and the reason for that is grip and That's safety. Right. Yeah. Let's put it back to the viewers at home, but obviously, you know, you've got to make sure you put the right tyre on that is get, that's going to give you the grip, not because of the budget point of view, but also from a point of view of safety. And you can't put a price on safety. No, you can't, but we've got a lot of cheap tyres now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and which is the other one. We've got a, we've got a good brand now, and it's, we're using Imperial and King Forest, so it's not your... It's your entry level tyre, but it's not your dead entry level tyre. Yeah. And I run them on my car. We run them on all our company cars here. And they're really, really, really good value for money. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, you know, that's been over a long time period as well. So we've been doing those tyres for the last 13 odd years now. Yeah. Um, and they've been doing really good. No, terrific. All so, right. Well, I hope that uh, the viewers at home have actually got a better understanding about, uh, obviously, not only rims, but also tyres and what's important to, to tyre sizing and rim packages. And for Simon, I want to say thank you very much for being on Bumper Bumper. Thank you. Great workshop. And obviously, great coffee as well. So thanks very much, mate. Thanks, mate.